The potential impact of cyber crime is massive, both on us individually as humans and on our industries and on our health and safety and welfare. It's anything from the data that you're accessing on your phone all the way up to our governments and our utilities. And if cyber criminals get in to those uh, entities, then we're looking at massive damage, uh, not just financial damage, but potential loss of life. Companies that take cybersecurity seriously are the ones whose brands will have greater longevity and greater strength. There's a notion of digital trust, which takes two factors into the thinking. One is risk and one is reputation. Risk is the quantifiable risk of what's at stake should we be attacked. And how safe are we? Can we answer that question? And then reputation, how likely are people and companies to work with you? If you've been hacked and you've been breached over and over again, the consumer is going to start fearing that their data is not secure. And those two pieces, the risk and the reputation, come together to create digital trust. And what we think is that is an economic driver for this next age that we're in. And if you don't have that digital trust, then you lose brand equity and you lose money, potentially. The Intelligence Network is a group of individuals and corporations that are coming together to solve a very challenging obstacle that we have, the adversary, the threat to our security landscape. We have to find the answer as a group. We have to rely on the brightest minds, the brightest opportunities for thought, and you're bringing a vast array of individuals and entities together that will have different perspectives, and that crowdsourced opportunity brings you results that I think you wouldn't have otherwise.